Price lists. I bet you guys can think of where you've seen lists like this before. Maybe you've gone with mom or dad to the grocery store and they want to say, hey, did I overspend on this carton of milk? I remember they said that it was, or these three cartons of milk, I remember they were supposed to be three for the price of two and they go to their list and they check. Okay. How much money does Madeline not need to buy a banana and a cupcake? So here's the banana, here's the cupcake. We're gonna take the $5. We're gonna add the 330. And we line up the decimal. We just add 0, 0, 3, 0. The decimal just stays lined up. We get 830. So $8.30. You could probably just do that in your head, right? $5 plus 330 is $8.30. That's a really expensive banana, by the way. How much money does Alyssa need to buy a plate and a fish? So plate, fish. Okay, let's do it a different way. Let's do the four plus the one to get the five just to change it up. And then the 80 and the 40 0 2 that's a 12 one carried over we line up the decimal right so that's a dollar 20 plus the 5 again you could probably do this with mental math which gives you $6.20. How much money does Alexa need to buy a pen and a plate? Pen, plate. All right, 360. Plus 2 10 0 7 5 so it should be five dollars and seventy cents for the plate and the pen it's got some nice alliteration there How much money does a key cost? How much more money does a key cost than a watermelon? Okay, so a key is 330, a watermelon is 210. So we take our 330 and we subtract our $2.10. How much more does the top cost than the bottom? So zero, three minus one is two. 3 minus 2 is 1, so it's $1.20 more expensive. How much more does a puppy cost than a trumpet? Well, a puppy, my friends, is priceless. A trumpet is 630. So we take our 780. And we do 6.30, do a subtraction, 0 here, 8 minus 3 is 5, and then we have the 7 minus the 6 is 1. So, hey, save up an extra dollar fifty and go for the puppy is what I say. How much more does a puppy cost than a key? So the price of puppies has gone down. Now a puppy only costs $5.80. And this key over here cost $1.90. So zero minus zero is zero. We have to make that an 18, we have to make that a four. So we get a nine. Then we get four minus one is three. 
So $3.90 more for that puppy. Again, I say go for the puppy. I mean, what are you going to do with the key? You need to buy a lock too, right? How much money will Gabriel have left if he has $18.30 and buys a notebook and a sunflower? Notebook, sunflower. Let's buy those two things and see what happens. So we do 990 plus 720. So we'll get a zero here. 9 plus 2 is 11, and we'll get a 1 here. And then that'll give us a 17. So that's how much it's going to cost for those two things. 1710. So we'll take our 1830. We'll subtract our 1710. Line up the decimals. And we'll have a dollar and 20 cents left over. Not, not enough to really buy anything on this list, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So a dollar 20 cents. How much money will Noah have left if he has $17.30 and buys a popsicle and a donut? Sweet tooth. Sweet tooth alert. Tooth alert. Again, very expensive pop popsicle. Very expensive donut. $8.80. $6.20. Just checking that I've written the right numbers down. Zero. Zero. That's a 10. So there's one there. We get $15. So we get $15. You can also check 8 plus 6 is 14. 80 cents plus 20 cents is a dollar. So $15. But he has $17.30. So if we subtract $15 from that, you know we'll have $2.30, but we'll go through the math. 3 2 So we'll have $2.30. How much money will Madison have left if she has $15.30 and buys a baseball ball and a sunflower? So putting these two together, we should have 11, 11.30, but we'll check. $8. Baseball and a sunflower. Zero, three, eleven. So 11.30 for the baseball and the sunflower, again, 8 plus 3 is 11, 30 plus 0 is 30, so 11.30. And she has 15.30, so shave off the 30s, it's 15 and 11, it's 4 bucks. But let's write it down, 15.30 minus 11.30, 0, 0, 4, 4 bucks. So much... Madison has left over. How much money will Joshua have left if he has $20.70 and buys a bottle and a tulip? These kids really like flowers. So this is going to be $9.50. plus 650. Let's give us a nice round number because those 50s are going to can't, you know, give us a dollar. We'll give us 10 here, we'll put a one up here, it'll give us 16 bucks. And you can kind of tell that. You shave this 50 off, you put it here, you get $10, you have an extra six, so you have $16. And you need to get to 2070, so it's 70 cents more than 20, so it's $4.70. If you want to write it out, you could do 2070 minus 16. You put the dot there, 0, 0, 0, 7, 
Put the 10 there, make that a 1. That gives you a 4, and then the 1 minus 1 is 0, so you get 470. All right. I hope you guys go shopping and buy some flowers and baseball cards and puppies. We'll see you next time.